this video, we are going to learn about mean, median, mode, and range of the data set. We will try to define what is mean, median, mode, range. So the mean is the sum of the data values divided by the number of data items. So the mean is sometimes called the average. So when you're going to get the average, what you're going to do is you're going to add the total okay, data and then divided by the numbers of data. Next, median. The median is the middle value of the odd number of data items in order. For an even number of the data, the median is the average of two middle values. So whatever in the middle, that is called we have the median. Next, the mode is the value or the values that occur most often when all data values occur the same number of times or there is no mode. So, for example, it says that when all the data values occur the same number of times, therefore, there is no mode of that because all of them have the same values. The range of the set of data is the difference between the greatest and the least value it is used to show the spread of the data in the data set. Okay, let's try to solve some of the problems. Finding the mean, median, mode, and range of the data. So to find the mean, the median, mode, and range of a data set, the data set is, or the data given, are 4, 7, 8, 2, 1, 2, 4, and 2. First thing you will do, if it's easier for you, you have to arrange that one. So you can arrange from small value until we have the greatest value. Okay, so we call that one as ascending. So you can arrange by 1, 2, 2, 2, 4, 4, 7, and 8. So that it's easier for you to determine what is the mode of the given data. Okay, so therefore you will have to find the mean. So the mean R, we are going to add all the values. So therefore, you will have 4 plus 7 plus 8, okay, plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2. Therefore, you can get 30. And then after that one, you have to divide that one, okay, divide how many given values there. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Therefore, you will get now 30 divided by we have the eight items, so therefore you will get 3.75. So that is the mean of this we have given data. Okay, next, how to find we have the median? So we have to arrange the values in order to make it easier for us. So you will have 1, 2, 2, 2, 4, 4, 7, and 8. Therefore you will have now, okay, so in ascending values. There are two middle values, so find the mean of these two values. Therefore, what is that? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So therefore, the two we have, okay, for the two given values there, you will get these two here, right? So therefore, you will have now as, okay, so 2 and 4. After that, what you're going to do, you're going to add and then divide it by 2. So therefore, 2 plus 4 equals 6 and then 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So therefore, the median of this given data is equal to 3. Next, we will try to find now the mode. So we have 1, 2, 4, or 1, 2, 2, 2. We have 4, we have 4, and 7, and 8. So what is the mode again? The highest, okay? So therefore, we have three values of 2. So therefore, the value of 2 or 3 times. And then we have the mode is, we have 2. The range. So therefore we have 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 4, 4, 7, and 8. So subtract the least value. And then after that one, we have the greatest value which is equals to 8. So therefore 8 minus 1 equals to 7. So the range of this problem is equals to 7. Another problem. Let's check out this one. So we have find the mean, median, modes, and range of the data set. So if you want to try to solve for the problem, you can just pause the video first, and then after that you can solve by yourself. So 
therefore you will have now as mean equals to okay so we have six plus four plus three plus we have five plus two plus five plus one plus eight so we get 34 and then after that one we'll have one two three four five six seven and eight so 34 divided by eight so we will get now how much so you can have your calculator with you or you can do it manually so therefore you will get 4.25 so the mean is 4.25. Next, what is the median? So again, we have to arrange the values in order. So we can have now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Therefore, we will get the two values in the middle. So therefore, you will have now as 4 and 5. So therefore, the median is equals to 4.5. Next, the mode. So we can see here in the arrangement that we have two values of 5, okay, occurs twice. So therefore your mode is equals to 5. Now the range is from 1 and we have 8, so therefore you will get still the same as we have 7. So the range now is equals to 7. Okay, let's try one more example. So let's say we have the values are negative 4, negative 4. 3, negative 5, negative 5, we have positive 2, negative 5, negative 4, negative 2, we have negative 2, and then we have negative 2. So we will try to find what will be the mean, okay, what will be the median, what is the mode and also we will look for what is the range so for the mean we will add all of this one so therefore you will have negative 4 plus negative 3 plus negative 5 so plus negative 5 then we have plus 2 plus we have negative 5 then we have plus negative 4 Okay, so you'll add all of this one, plus negative 2, plus negative 2, and then we have plus negative 2. And then how many values is that? So you will count how many quantity. So for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So therefore, whatever the answer there, we will divide by 10. So let's try to answer all of this one. So we have negative 7 negative 12, negative 17, 15, negative 20, and then we will add that one that is equals to negative 30. So therefore negative 30 divided by 10, we will get now, okay, so the mean now is equals to, we have negative 3. Okay, so this one will be our mean. And then for median, okay, so we will try to arrange that everything. Okay, so for median, so let's do. Okay, so we'll just use this space for our solving. So for median, okay, so let's try to arrange from the smallest value into the greatest value. So we have negative 5, negative 5, we have negative 5. So we have 3, negative 5, negative 4, negative 4. And then after that one, we have negative 3, and then negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, and positive 2. So therefore, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So therefore, we have this one 4. We have here as 4 as well. So therefore, this will be our median. For median, we will get now as median is equal to we have negative 4 minus 3 divided by 2. So therefore, you will get negative 7 over 2, which is equal to negative 3.5. So for mode, okay, for mode now, let's have our mode. So just count here. So we have 3, and then we have 3 as well. So therefore, there are two modes of this one. So the mode are... Okay, so the mode R equal to, we have our mode is equals to negative 5 and 
we have negative 2. How about for our range? Okay, for the range now is equals to the smallest value is negative 5. Okay, so negative 5 minus, okay, negative 5 minus we have positive 2. So therefore the range is equals to we have negative 7. Okay, so that is how we will find out the range of this value. So therefore, median. Okay, so we have mean, median, mode, and range. Okay, let's try one more example. So we have uh, test scores. Test scores. Therefore, you will have 80. We have 70. We have 84. We have 90. And then you will have 92 and 100. To find the mean, what you are going to do, we are going to add everything, right? So therefore, how much is that? So you will get now as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so divide by 6, and then you will get the, we have the mean. So therefore, the answer is, the answer is equal to 516, and then you divide that 1 by 6, so therefore you will get now equal to 80, we have 6, so this one is your we have the mean for the median okay so for the median now median so we'll count we have two here two and then two on the other side so because this one is even so therefore you will get to get 84 84 plus we have 90 divided by two therefore we will get now equals to 87 so therefore the median is equal to 80 7. From here, we have all the values from our mode. So we will try to check if we have mode here. So 80, 70, 84, 90, 92, 100. So there is no mode for this given. So no, we have mode. And then the last one will be the range. For the range is equal to, we have range is 100 minus we have 70 right so therefore your range is equals to 30 so therefore this is how you will get now we have the mean median mode and range okay again so how to get the mean median mode and range so for for mean okay so you have to sum all the data divided by we have the number of datas the median you have to find the middle okay middle when the data values are arranged in numerical order and then after that the move mode is the greatest and for the range is we have to get the highest and the smallest we have value and then subtract it that will be your range okay so if you have questions and clarifications don't forget to send an email or comment we have in the comment section below and please guys don't forget okay don't forget you are going to subscribe and hit the not notification bell like and subscribe and share our videos thank you so much and have a nice day